Hey there everybody, today I'll be showing you my element collection. Um, I'll start off with the more common household items that you'll probably find around your house. Um, so, and then move on to the harder to find elements. And I don't have a complete collection yet, and I will try and complete it. It's going to be pretty hard, cost me a lot of money, but wish me luck. Um, here is a very common household item, aluminum foil. It's probably the most common that you'll find. Um, next up is mechanical lead. Regular pencil lead works fine too. Um, now, it does contain graphite, which is carbon, but um, this carbon graphite also has clay in it to maintain the hardness of the pencil lead. Then I got an iron nail right here. Another household common item. Box of them will cost you a few bucks, maybe less. Then I got copper wire. You can get that at Home Depot. Um, then for more avid fishermen are lead fishing weights. Okay, those are the less, you know, more common items. Now for the lesser. Now, you can probably find these other places, but not in this type of form. I got zinc pellets. Pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty common probably. And now for my least common element that I have so far is sulfur. Yes, sulfur. Um, you can probably find this as a gardening shop or somewhere. Acts as a nutrient right here. Um, but I got it from a undisclosed location, which I will not tell you. Um, and for a special treat, I brought this into my chemistry teacher. It's called granite. And we brought out the Geiger counter. Because I hear that it has uranium in it. Um, and it tested to have 0.03 millirads coming from it. More than the background radiation. Um, that's pretty cool, which means that uh, it has a radioactive material in it. Probably gran uh, uranium. Um, it's supposed to be 20 parts in a million uranium. So that's pretty cool to know that I possibly have uranium. Um, so that would be another common thing though. Alright, so subscribe, like, and comment. Bye. Till next time.